In this lesson, I want to go over a distinction with powers and bases uh, when we're using parentheses that really can get some people into trouble, and it could show up on the test. Um, I want to look at these two examples to illustrate this pitfall. We've got negative 3 to the second power, and then we've got negative 3 in parentheses to the second power. Now, they look similar, but they're very different problems. The uh, first one is negative 9, and the second one simplifies to positive 9. So why is that? Well, it goes to what we really consider a base. A base is the number right in front of, or just to the left of the exponent. In the first example, that does not include the negative. The base is considered just 3. So what this really means is 3 to the second power, which is 3 times 3, and then afterwards we put on the negative, which is how we get negative 9. In the second example, uh, the base with the parentheses, that means that the actual base is the whole thing, negative 3. So negative 3 in parentheses to the second power is negative 3 times negative 3. And since a negative times a negative is positive, that's how we get positive 9. Let's look at this example where all I've done is use the same bases, but I've increased the powers by 1. Um, now in this instance, we actually do get the same answer when we simplify. It's negative 27, but the reasoning uh, behind those answers is very different. And it follows what we just said. In the first example, without parentheses, the base is 3 to the third, so it's 3 times 3 times 3. Uh, and then you just slap on the negative, which is how we get negative 27. And in the second example, the base is negative 3 uh, because it's in parentheses. So it's negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9, times negative 3, which is negative 27. Now, I want you to go ahead and pause the video now and try to do these three different examples. And we'll come back after the break and check out your answers. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to go over these and you got the answers negative 16, 16, and negative 16. Now these follow the same patterns we saw before. The first example, the base is just 2, not negative 2, because there's no parentheses. So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16, and then we throw on that negative to make negative 16. In the second example, the base is negative 2, so it's going to be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which if you multiply apply that out, the negatives keep canceling each other out to get positive 16. Um, in the last example, it's actually the second uh, problem with just another negative added on the outside. So what we have is a base of negative 2, which we multiply 4 times to get positive 16, and then that extra negative makes it negative 16.